So in my last video, I walked you through creating a free blogging website using Wix, which as long as you're happy not having your own custom domain name and a Wix banner ad displayed at the top of your site, Wix will host your site for completely free of charge forevermore. However, if your intention is to make money from your website and to build a business around it, you really should consider choosing a custom domain name. And that means upgrading to one of Wix's paid plans. Fortunately, if you sign up for a year, all of their paid plans come with a free domain name. Well, it's not really free, but I'll explain more about that later in the video. Before you decide on a domain name, I highly recommend going with a .com address, regardless of where you are in the world, unless your content specifically relates to an individual country or if you're writing in a language other than English. I just think that having a .com address will help your articles to rank more broadly across the world in Google's search results. Secondly, I recommend checking that the name you intend to use is also available on any of the social media platforms that you want to use. To do this, go to brandsnag.com and type your preferred domain name into the box. This will tell you what domains are available, but also if you scroll down, what social media accounts are also available for your chosen name. You can see that I not only own the faculty of apps.com, but several social media accounts associated with the name. Once you're happy with the name you've chosen, head back over to Wix. Now naturally, Wix provides a multitude of buttons and links to help you upgrade to a paid plan. If you're in the editor, you can click on Upgrade Now, or if you're looking at your dashboard, you have the options at the bottom of the page and in the menu. Or the next step, having published your site, is to get a domain. I tell you all of this because the process does slightly differ depending on whether you click on one of the upgrade buttons or choose to get a domain. If you use one of the upgrade buttons, you'll need to purchase and link your domain separately after upgrading. That is why I prefer to click on get a domain, which combines both the domain and the upgrade process into one. So here, having clicked on get domain, I can choose between buying a new domain name or transferring an existing one. Transferring a domain still requires you to upgrade to a premium plan. However, since we don't yet have a domain name, we'll go with this option instead. Type your preferred domain name and Wix will tell you whether it's available or not. If it's taken, you can either search again or choose a domain suffix that is available. Because I already own facultyofapps.com, I'll choose the .NET address for this demonstration. But as I said earlier, in most cases, I would recommend going with a .com address. Having chosen your domain name, you're then taken to the upgrade page. Before you upgrade, let's run through a few of the different plans and what you get for your money. The first thing to note is there are different tabs and different pricing scales depending on whether you're creating a simple website, say a blog or a news site, or whether you intend to run an online store and accept payments. Obviously, it's more expensive to run a store than a blog. If you're running an online store, I would say, unfortunately, you almost have to go with the business unlimited option since that's the entry point to selling on social media and marketplaces. It's also the entry point if you're hoping to dropship using Wix's own dropshipping platform, Modalist, and for selling subscriptions. To be honest, I would only go with basic if I was selling info products or I already had an established customer base that knew how and where to find me. For those of us only looking to host a website and not interested in payments just yet, I would absolutely start with the cheapest option, which is the combo deal. Honestly, it is hard to make money from a website, so I recommend trying to keep your cost down as much as possible at the start. In regard to what you miss out on when you go with a combo deal, well, you won't get the site booster app. But in my experience, the best way to boost a site is to create lots of long form content as that tends to rank well in Google. And I'm not sure that an extra seven bucks a month is going to help boost your site unless it creates the content for you. The visitor analytics is definitely useful, but you can get much the same information by installing Google Analytics, which is very straightforward to set up in Wix. You'll know yourself whether you need to integrate a calendar or not. And finally, if you're on a tight budget, you can create a good looking logo just by using one of the hundreds of cheap design logo websites available on the internet. So for all of those reasons, my recommendation is to start with Wix's cheapest option. 
It's also worth noting that you can upgrade your plan at any time, and if you cancel your plan within the first 12 days, you'll receive a full refund. And if you're not in a hurry to upgrade, Wix frequently offers significant di discounts on their pricing, so you may want to wait for one of those to come around. Now, don't worry if your pricing looks slightly different to mine. I'm just working in Australian dollars rather than US dollars. And note that these are monthly prices, assuming that you sign up for a year. On the next screen, you can see we have the option to sign up for either one year, monthly, or two years. If you sign up for just a month, the cost increases and you don't get the free domain name. And if you decide to go for two years, the total overall cost is even less. But for this demonstration, I'll stick with yearly. Once the payment has gone through, we can link the domain name we chose earlier to our site. To do this, we actually have to run through the purchase of the domain and Wix will apply a voucher so we get the domain for free for one year. Alternatively, if you're happy to pay, you can secure your domain for several years. Selecting one year sets the total amount to zero and we can continue. Fill in the contact details for your domain name and Wix should autofill most of these fields with the details you provided when you purchased your plan. We're then taken to this screen, which frankly has me slightly aggrieved. Here Wix is charging us to register the domain privately. Registering your domain privately is something you definitely want to do. In fact, it's so common most registrars are now including it free of charge. Leaving your information public means that anyone looking up your domain name will also be able to see your name and the address you gave when you purchased the domain, which in most cases is likely to be your home address. Here you can see that having registered the thefacultyofapps.com privately, the information shown is that of the registrar and not my personal details. I don't have a problem paying a little bit more for private registration, but frankly at $14.49 a year, or whatever the equivalent is in US dollars, this is way too expensive. If we compare it to GoDaddy, for instance, I can buy a similar address for $9.99 and the privacy is included, and I reckon I could get it even cheaper if I shopped around. For Wix to be charging $14.50 basically negates any savings we make for getting the domain for free. It's just my opinion, but I find that really disappointing by Wix. Having made your payment, that completes the upgrade process and your domain will now automatically be linked to your website. You have the option to purchase a mailbox if you wish to receive email, but I can show you how to get around this and set up a business email address for free in a separate video. Click on go to domains, it will take you back to your dashboard and if we click on home, you can see that my address has been updated. And finally, if I click on live view, there's my website using my new custom domain name. So that is how to upgrade your account on Wix. Visit my website for lots more tips on Wix and all your favorite applications. And if you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick tips like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.